I thought it would be fun to make my DJI Mini 2 drone carry payloads and be able to drop them under remote control. So I hacked mine to be able to operate this add-on payload dropper, which I can control via the onboard DJI radio link at any range right from the Fly app. Here's how I did it. You can find off-the-shelf payload droppers for sale for quadcopters like these, but they all use a separate radio to control them. I wanted to control mine using the built-in radio so that I could use it at any range. I realized this might be possible when I saw the option to change the color of the front light, which can be done at any time during flight. I opened up the drone to get access to the three wires that connect to the front light and soldered on new wires to tap into the signals. These are run to a small connector that I glued in place behind the gimbal. While the quad was open, I used a multimeter to identify that one of the wires was connected to the ground plane. Connecting the other two signals to my oscilloscope, I could see that one of them provides 5.1 volts anytime the drone's powered on, and the other has a serial data signal. This signal sends out 48 bits of data every 20 milliseconds to control the color of the lights. The bits are encoded as short and long pulses, just like a WS2812B addressable LED, except that they're streaming out at a much faster 780 kilohertz. To keep my payload device low power, I wanted to stick to a small 8-bit microcontroller, which meant I was limited on my clock speed. I found that a PIC-18 running at its maximum of 64 MHz was just barely fast enough to capture these signals if I wrote the function directly in assembly to keep the timing as tight as possible. This function uses only 10 assembly instructions and decodes the first byte of the 6-byte packet, which appears to be an intensity value for the green channel. Once my decode function was working, I could record these values for each of the color options in the app. Since they're all unique values, capturing only the first byte gives me the ability to send nine commands to my payload device. I can even get more of them by disabling the light or changing the breathing or rainbow mode, which creates easily recognizable patterns of values in this data byte. For now, I just wanted to make a dropper and only need two commands open and close. I picked out this DC motor with a planetary gearbox because it was one of the lowest power gear motors I had and wasn't back drivable, which simplifies the mechanism. I designed these two plastic parts. One is an arm for the motor and the other is a base for the device that has clips to grab onto the underside of the drone. I printed these in ABS plastic. Without knowing anything about the 5 volt supply in the drone's electronics, I didn't know how much current I could pull from it without causing problems. So to be cautious, I decided to limit my device to a 5 milliamp draw from the supply. This meant it needed to have its own battery, which would very slowly charge from the drone, but be able to supply higher current during motor movements. The battery is a very small lithium ion cell and is charged at 5 milliamps by an LTC 405 volt charger chip. The motor is driven by an L9110H bridge and a PIC 18F26K40 microcontroller runs the show. I turned the motor into a servo by adding feedback on the arm with a magnet and a linear Hall effect sensor. The firmware is written to be very low power so that the battery can get the vast majority of the small power budget to charge. After plugging it into the drone, the microcontroller comes out of deep sleep and starts reading in data every one second. It sleeps between readings and the whole thing consumes 26 microamps while sleeping. When it sees five of the correct value in a row, an open or close command is issued and it wakes up the Hall effect sensor, runs the motor to the new position, and then goes back to sleep. To use this device, I just clip it on, plug it in, and power up the drone. Then to open or close it, I just go to the control settings and pick orange or yellow to open or close the arm. I've seen tests where the Mini 2 can carry its own weight and payload to hold 250 grams, so there are a lot of fun things you could do with this. I plan to make other add-on payload devices as well, since with all the light options, there are plenty of commands available to control more functions than just a dropper. Let me know if you have any ideas for other actively controlled payloads. I'll open source the code and CAD for this in case anyone wants to recreate it themselves. Thanks for watching.